It's a pleasure to be here. It's also a pleasure to see all of the Prace attendees address similar issues to what we address in the United States. How does HPC make a difference? How do we respond in appropriate ways? Uh, how do we bridge research and commercialization? It was refreshing to see the dialogue today that is so similar to the one we have. One of the greatest needs for impact that uses HPC is really the need for speed. HPC is the speed machine, so to speak, and maybe the only way to really bridge uh, quickly science and commercialization. So in order to get economic impact, we need to very quickly take the results from academic research and apply those to companies that would use it. Uh, as companies use the research and what comes from the research, as they use that more quickly, we get greater economic impact because the commercialization comes sooner. The HPC community is relatively small. We know the names of the people at the centers. The academic centers have done this for quite a while. Our DOE and other labs across the world have done this. In addition, our centers that work with industry have come together to have a similar conversation. So in some ways, we have some collaboration already, just in the sharing of information. Going forward, we should collaborate more. One example would be with global manufacturing, how could we engage the supply chains that are on opposite continents? American manufacturers with European suppliers, or the vice versa, European OEMs with American suppliers. Might there be a way that we could collaborate and strengthen the supply chain by using HPC and, and data analytics? Again, a bit beyond the solver, but how might we use uh, the big data systems, big compute systems to bridge the supply chain. That's one example. I think the other examples are to be collaborative and not duplicative. So in other words, we believe that not all companies have enough money to do this themselves, don't have enough to do the, the software, address the software issues by themselves, but should Europe concentrate on the same things as America would, or could we be complementary? If there are strengths for interest in one sector, uh, biomedical being one sector, or uh, manufacturing being another sector, perhaps we could collaborate in ways that would not duplicate the expense and the investment.